Well, hello everyone. So for uh, this uh, stream, um, we're going to pick it up where we left it off last week. Uh, the only uh, things that I have done, uh, more a little bit on the administrative side, uh, like I've imported some animations and uh, simple blend space, which you can uh, uh, see here. You know, now like the the character stands and does its, you know, movements around. Um, so, you know, the movement, the root bone is not perfect. You know, it looks like it's sliding a little bit. But, uh, so I've done that. And also, um, I've um, uh, created a blend space for the crouch um, actions. So, um, with that said, what we're going to do today is um, create that tag in the, uh, in the mannequin uh, and uh, target it via the code. So um, when uh, you do press uh, the crouch key, you, uh, you crouch and you move, you know, you move. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, so first of all, let's create that tag since we're in the engine. And let's go to tools in the mannequin here. Okay, so currently we have um, we have walk, which is this one, and you can see it has it has a sign right there. And we have the default one, which is the idle. So let's go ahead and uh, and create uh, create the crouch. So for this one, I'm gonna do is. Um, I am going to create two. So one of them is going to be the crouch idle, and the other one is going to be the crouch walking. So um, let's see. This is the little icon to add a new tag. So let's create this one. This one's going to be called crouch. And we'll create another one. This one is going to be called, um, let's do crouch walk. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, save the changes. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually load uh, immediately as far as it's shown them in an option over here. Uh, let me see if I close the mannequin window and I open that up again. Uh, I'm wondering if they'll show. Oh yeah, there we go. So you just need to close the mannequin window and you'll get the new um, tags in here. All right, so um, that is that for uh, the engine side of things, at least for now. So uh, let's go ahead and um, start up uh, our um, you know, Visual Studio. So um, there we go. So we're going to have to touch on a few things here. Um, first of all, uh, let's see, where do we have that main, actually, player, sorry. Uh, so, first we're going to have to do the input. So, uh, currently in input, we do not have a crouch um, action set up. So, in order to do that, we'll just uh, duplicate one of these, and uh, we'll name it crouch, and we'll also implement it. Uh, also, we need to add a flag, so that way we know that um, we're um, actually crouching. So I'm not sure if this one actually serves a whole lot of purpose, but um, let's uh, let's do it anyway. So um, let's just copy this line here. I mean, these are the bit flags, as far as I understand, but. Uh, and they might, they will probably come in handy in the future. I haven't done a lot of work with them, so let's do this. Is going to be crouch, and of course we'll give it a different do here. Okay, so let's uh, let's get this in. We'll uh, create the on action crouch. Okay. So um, now what we need to do is actually 
create the definition. So you can just click on this little uh, light bulb and create definition. And let's, uh, let's open up the player input.cpp. Let's just make sure we open it up here so we can see what we're doing. Uh, so if you look for the function, uh, you'll notice that is, uh, it usually places it right where you have it in the header file. So we had it right after the on action move back. So this one is going to be right there. Okay, so before we do this, uh, we actually need to um, assign um, an action name. So for that, we need to use that default, default profile.xml. So to find that, uh, let's see, we are here in this our project. So let's go to assets, libs, config, and there's our default profile. So let's edit this with uh, Notepad plus plus. Let me see if I can. There we go. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, we only have the uh, default the. Uh, uh, player template uh, actions, you know, move left, right, forward, back, and the shoot, which we're not currently using. So let's uh, copy one of these lines and create a new action. So this one is, we're going to call this uh, crouch. And the way I've implemented this is when you hold down, uh, for me, it's going to be C, so I'm sorry that. Uh, my template here is kind of bad. Uh, let me see if I switch to a different language. Maybe it's going to look all better. I'm just going to maybe JS. There we go. Okay, so um, the way I, I, I'm doing this is um, whenever you hold down C, you go into crouch and you know you can move around. So the crouch is going to be, we have to replace some of these because uh, so we can do on press, we can do on release, but this is going to have to be on hold, you know, because you're going to hold the button down. So on hold is going to be one, and um, actually it's going to be capital H. And uh, let's assign the keyboard. I'm going to do this one as C for now uh, for the crutch. Okay, so we got on press, on release, on hold. Let's minimize that. So, um, in here, one thing that um, um, that I ran into was that um, um, when you go into crouch mode, you know you do play the animation, but the the capsule doesn't change, so you're still uh, not going to be able to fit through, uh, you know, an opening or underneath something. So uh, what I had to do is uh, I had to create um, the, um, uh, well actually not create, but uh, duplicate the physicalize function in movement. So if we go to movement, we'll take a look at it real quick. So you'll see there's a physicalize function. So this one, uh, you know, makes the physics where the player wants it standing, right? So we got that tall capsule. So if we're to jump into into game mode, I can show you real quick what that looks like. Which that's wasn't it? I can see. So to jump into game mode, as you can see, the capsule kind of looks like that. I'm not sure why it does look like that. It should be um, it should be a capsule. Um, but we want to be. Oh, actually, sorry. <laughs> this is this should be a one instead of a zero. So, you know, you have this little uh, flag here. You know, prefer usage of cylinder instead of a capsule. So, if you set it to one, it will use a capsule. Okay. So, um, we um, um, we set that to one. But as you can see, um, it's getting its size from from this. And um, let's quickly um, uh, compile this, and I'll show you how that looks as far as the capsule. So I believe we should be able to compile. If there's any issues, uh, we will take care of them. But I think it should be good. There we go. 
Okay, so uh, let's fire up and uh, we'll take a look at that capsule real quick. So let's see if that works. So here's our player capsule. So even if you go into uh, into into crouch mode, uh, you'll um, the capsule is still going to be the same. So we need to figure out we need to, to make something so that once you press crouch, you go into a different different uh, use a different function for the physical eyes. So let's copy this one. So uh, as well, remember that you have to create this in the uh, player movement that age as well. So we'll call this physicalize crouch, and let's um, let's also create it. Let's probably use it here. That's pretty cool with uh, um, uh, Visual Studio that it you know it helps you with all these little. Um, you know, create this in the header, create this in this uh, C++ file. Okay, so in here, um, what we want to do is um, we're going to make that capsule a little smaller. So let's uh, make this, uh, I'm probably going to make this at a, um, I don't know, let's call it a 0 0.2, 0 0.2 out of, and um, you can tweak this value and see what fits your gameplay better. Um, so, um, it's pretty simple. I haven't uh, looked into a lot, uh, too much into these other settings. Um, so, um, I've only played around with this one. And uh, I, I literally did it this week, so like I said, I didn't get around to play with it too much. Uh, so, we have, the, uh, we have the, the, the physicalization for the crouch. So, what we need to do is actually apply that. So let's go to player input.c++ where we have our on action crouch. Uh, so just like with the other functions, we're going to have to do this uh, handle input flag change. So let's add this in. And our input flag was actually that uh, crouch. There it is. Uh, just uh, You can do autofill by pressing uh, control space. So now what we need to do is figure out if you know we're pressing this button and if we are then do the crouching physicalization and if we're not do the regular physicalization. So in order to do that we're going to use this activation mode. So let's start off by doing a misstatement and if activation mode activation mode there it is um, equals equals equals, and um, these are going to be some uh, some um, properties in the input dot uh, h file. So this is going to be e i s. Um, sorry, it's uh, lowercase e. So as you can see, there's a couple of options here, and um, what we want to look for is if it's pressed. So if this got pressed then what we want to do is call the crouching physicalization. So we're going to get to that through mplayer. Uh, whoops. So there's a pointer to our player class which can access, um, let's see, I believe we need to include Player class in here it is, and I believe we might need to include our movement. And let's see, where is the movement? This is going to be. Uh, da, 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 and movement, player movement. So now let's see if we can get to where is it? And player dot I'm wondering where we can get to the because uh, what I need to, to be able to call is um, if we look at player, 
And a player here. Um, the player is creating all these uh, pointers here. So, yeah, we can see them better down here. So what I need to do is be able to access that and uh, actually call the physicalized route from player movement. But for whatever reason, is, I'm not sure why I can't um, get to, because this is going to be like this, uh, P movement, and then uh, physicalized crouch. But it's not, um, so I should be able to call this one. Uh, so let's see, what am I missing? Let me uh, cheat real quick and look at uh, look at some of my uh, code from before. Uh, let's see. Is this probably just some include that I'm missing here? Not player input. Well, I believe. I mean, I could have done it like this. Um, Hallie. Oops, sorry. Oh, that was player input. Yeah, it's so player input. Um, yeah, that's true, uh, um, Oscar. Thank you. And but then, um, what do I use after get entity? It's um I mean I wish I could just do it via um, um Right, thank you for that. Okay, so Oscar. Um I'm not sure if I can go at it through the P game object. Hmm. It's um I mean I'm wondering if it's just something in the um fair movement. Ah, P game logic is not defined. So no, I mean, because um, I was able to do it in my um, when I was trying it this week, but um, so I actually don't need to include this. Yeah, I do, I do. But apparently it doesn't really like it so much in the post IT. Yeah, so this one comes in just fine through. Yeah, so I mean, I should be able, because like, MP player is right there. And I'm not sure why it's uh, having a little fit. You know, I shouldn't even need to, to declare it. Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's just uh, um, IntelliSense that's not going to fit. Oh yeah, I think there you go. That's that's a good point. But um, I believe I believe it was public. Um, it is public, but these are protected. That's what it. That's what it was. So um, I think if I make these public, hopefully I'm going to be able to access that. All right, there we go. Uh, MP player is still having a little fit here. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, can be because it's protected within itself. Let me see if I try and build it if it's just gonna Yeah, so it's complaining about that. C player movement. Um, physical eyes crouch. Well, so I mean, I'm just wondering why I would do it in here. So let me see if I change this to public as well. Um, you know, it's including the player here. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is very weird. Where it's uh, these are made these public, and. Um, I'm trying to look at some of uh, some of the old stuff. Well, so physicalized method is in uh, player movement. It used to be in, it was in here. Uh, it is called by the player um, somewhere in uh, I can't remember where it, it's calling it. Uh, Calling it in player too, as far as I remember. There we go on the set player model. Um, but the, the weird thing is that um, inside of the player input, um, this thing is having a little fit. So I can't really make why. So yeah, on player movement, we don't really need to uh, player movement dot h. I mean, these can be protected. That's fine. But. Um, Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. So, uh, player movement, player movement dot h. So, well, I mean, in player input.
So let me do this. You're right. So I need to do an include here for um, player player.h. Uh, let's see if this solves some issues. And uh, also probably the player movement. So let's do that also. Include, I believe it's player movement, player movement. Um, so there's uh, no more squiggly marks, which is good. Let's try and quickly build this. Okay, so um, that was apparently the issue. I was just missing some include statements, and uh, I'm uh, very sorry about that <laughs> that delay. Um, well, it was a little bit of a walk around through through some of this code. So um, we have these two two options here. So one of them is if um, is pressed and now let's go ahead and do the if released and this is where we actually just use the regular physicalize so this is gonna be released okay um, so let's um, let's quick compile this and um, um, I believe we should be all set to at least see if the um, um, the collision changes. So let's give that a try. Let's build this and go to our stream Mixamo thing here. So once we verify that this works, uh, we'll um, also do the uh, animations. So let's open test and turn on proxies. Uh, apparently that didn't really do much. When I'm pre pressing C, it does not uh, it does not go into that. So let's see what else are we missing. Um, we did save this as far as I recall. The default profile that is Crouch. Oh, um, well, I mean, yeah. So as I was thinking, I did uh, I did miss on a couple of things. So um, uh, the one thing that we didn't do is actually assign that because we need to add that as a handler in here. So um, this is actually going to tell you that. Um, Yes, uh, uh, Oscar, I did change uh, the, the height or the size of this uh, capsule. So let's do the add handler in here. And this is going to be our crouch. So we got crouch, but we also need to make sure that it's on action. On action crouch is when we actually crouch. So, so now this should take in that input. So let's, uh, let's build and uh, we'll see what happens hopefully we get um, we get something happening this time and for whatever reason sometimes uh, uh, oh, I did not want to wait I just want to close it sometimes whenever you start it uh, I don't know some, every now and again it, it happens that it just seems to freeze that way Okay, let's try this. So, proxy's on. Okay, so there we go. Um, we have the little, um, the proxy changing because of uh, me pressing C right now. Okay, so we got the proxies uh, taken care of. And of course, like I said, right now, the it's probably not perfect, the sizing of it. Um, so, um, we can look into that a little more. 
But let's get into the movement. So we actually um, um, uh, not sorry, not the um, not the movement, but the uh, the animations. We already have the movement, and um, one thing that we can do is um, actually make it move a little slower when it's, when it's crouching. Um, and um, but what we need to do is um, is actually let's let's first create the animations and make sure those those work. So let's go into animations. So we have player animations .cpp and .h. So we need both of these. One of them is going to be um, our we're going to have to create the tag for the crouching. So I'm going to name this as tag um, id, and this is going to be m underscore uh, crouch tag id. I'm just going to use the same naming convention. Okay, and um, so once we have this in, let's go to our player animations.cpp and actually make something happen when that is happening. Um, so, first of all, let's um, let's actually use the um, the proper tag, uh, or you know, because we have those the, the crouch tag that we just created in Mannequin. So we need to find that and actually play the animation within that tag. So let's um, make sure that the tag ID we just created is is getting the little crouch tag ID from Mannequin. So crouch equals, I'm just going to copy this line here and find crouch. Uh, so um, one thing that we need to do is, uh, the next thing we need to do is actually um, update its state. So in here, we will set uh, this one to m crouch tag id and the thing we need to do for this is these are just um, I, I don't know what exactly to call them from I, uh, you know the kind of programmatical standpoint but um, you, they're pretty self-explanatory so apply this tag id if these conditions are met so first of all we need to have uh, travel speed maybe greater than a certain number we need to make sure that the player is on ground and right now it's not really it won't know if it needs to crouch or walk so we need to set a different uh, another condition as well so this one um, what I did previous was setting up a flag saying is crouching right and um, to do that, what I did was um, I've actually created um, a flag in player movements. So in here, I had a flag called boolean m uh, is crouching. Um, well, and I did not create it where I was supposed to. Sorry, I opened the. I was on the on the wrong file. So I'm clear of movement, right here where you see there it's on ground. I've created one that is crouching. So what I what I'm doing is in clear movement. I'm looking for the flags. So if the input flag is crouching then I'm setting this this flag to true and um, oh, let's see why is it uh, complaining about this uh, it's protected, so I'm probably going to change this to public here. And um, let's see if that uh, fixed our issue. 
must be a modifiable value, and that is because this uh, function that it's trying to modify is set to constant. So let's remove this. And also remove it in here. So now we can set m is crouching to true. And of course, if, um, if it's not crouching, we want to set it back to false. So let's do an else if here. Um, and actually, yeah, so else if. I think we can just do it. We can go away with get away with an else. So then else this one is not crouching, so it's got to be false. Okay, so now that we know that um, we've actually hit our crouching flag, let's um, go to our player movement and uh, not sorry, not player movement, player animations. So in here. We know that we're traveling at a certain speed, and we know that we're on ground. So let's do an and m uh, p player arrow get movement. Uh, so now this one can be. Oops, sorry. Um, what I did before is I've actually set up a function and I think that might work a little better and it should be a little cleaner so in, in player movement uh, you can do it in uh, player movement.h so as you can see this is how is, is on ground is returned so let's do the same thing for our is crouching so let's create that so is crouching And we're going to return our flag here. Bull is crouching. So once we go into player animations, let's see if we can uh, access it now. So we have is crouching. So we have is it's crouching and it's on ground and the travel speed is greater than 0 0.2. Then we're going to try and set this crouch tag ID. All right, so let's go ahead and compile, and uh, we'll see what happens in the engine. All right, so let's fire up the engine. Let's open our test level. So right now, probably nothing is going to happen because we haven't added any animations to it. So let's see what it's happening. Yeah, nothing is happening right now. So let's go into our mannequin. So animation, mannequin editor. And in here, we're going to have to create a new fragment engine. So this one is going to be a sound to crouch. And uh, unfortunately, I have crouch and crouch walk, so um, I should have done one or the other. So for now, I've done just crouch. And that will probably take uh, of our crouch, crouch idling. It's, we're just going to do the crouch walk for now. Okay, so um, you can see we have these two layers. You can just right click and add a layer, and this is going to be an anim layer. So double click on that and we'll select uh, the crouch strafe uh, blend space that I've created. Just like I've created before that walking blend space, this is the same. It's only a lot less animations. And always make sure to, depending on the actions, uh, make sure you set it to looping. Okay, so let's save this changes. There we go, and we can see it right here in the preview. Hopefully, let's see what this is. Uh, and it's the crouch walking action. So now, let's see if it actually does it in here, which apparently it doesn't really do it. Let's see, what are we missing?
So we have the uh, crouch tag ID, which is looking good. We're loading it here. That's good. So get there is uh, is crouching. Let's see. Are we missing anything else? Some fair movement and um, fair input. Let's make sure we're actually handling handling the right flag. So we are handling this. Which is good. So I'm wondering why is it that it's uh, it's complaining about this one. But in the meantime, what I wanted to do is um, no, I think it should be should be good to go. Let me see what else am I missing in here. I have the crouching IDs. So let's try and in the uh, your animations. I'm wondering if for testing we uh, we remove this is on ground just for the time being. Just wanted to see if it's um, if that might be the issue. If there's anything else that I might be missing, and we know that it's triggering because it's changing the the physical box. Let's give this a try real quick. This is this is interesting why it's uh, why it's doing that. Uh, let's see what else am I missing? Um, so we have that. So let's also look for something. This probably didn't do much, but let's also in in the is on uh, in here. Let's make sure that we're not crouching it at the same time. So and this is not crouching. Let's try that. Let's see if something happens here. All right, there we go. So, what I needed to know is that um, at the same time, um, when I'm walking, and I'm not crouching, right? So, right now I'm crouching, so that flag is set to true, and now I'm not. And this also revolves around your speed movement. So, for example, if we were to add another tag in here, um, let's for, say, for example, we just want to crouch and be in an idle mode. So now that we have all of this already already done, this kind of uh, 
work that I've had a few hiccups along, which I'm uh, sorry about. Um, so let's, for example, do a idle crouch. So in order to do that, let's go to Fair Animations and create a new tag in here. So this is going to be crouch um, idle. Let's call it that. So once we create it in the header file, let's create it in here as well. So first of all, let's uh, make sure we're getting the proper animations. So this one equals to, to this. So this is going to be crouch. I'm going to name that tag crouch idle. And uh, we want to call it right here. So I'm just going to do a couple of things. So first of all, we're going to set the tag crouch idle. And uh, the conditions are going to be travel speed is less than 0.2x. So we're basically just standing there. So less than 0.2x. We know that the player is on ground and that uh, we also have the, the crouching flag turned on. So let's build this real quick. Uh, I think that's all that we should need to add this new animation in. So let's build this. And uh, let's start up the engine and create the new tag in the mannequin and assign it uh, an idle animation. So in here, let's fire up our mannequin tool or mannequin editor, sorry. So in idle, we need to create a new fragment and um, this is going to be I'm just going to retool this crouch walk. So let's uh, let's go to our uh, I think it's tag definition editor. So instead of crouch walk, I'm going to be renaming this, uh, and I can't remember which one this one. So instead of that, this is going to be crouch uh, idle, and hit OK. So again, I probably need to you know save the changes and uh, it's a little bit annoying I have to say and then go into the mannequin editor again and of course the window does not remember its previous sizing so let's pull this down a little bit okay so we got idle, we got crouch, and we got two defaults because you know one of them is the idle one and as you can see standing idle and the second one is going to be uh, the one that we want to have crouch idle. So just like before, right click, add layer, uh, anim layer, and double click in here, and let's select an animation. So this one is going to be a crouch idle, and also we're going to make that loop. And let's look at it and see if this is the proper one. And it uh, looks like it's a crouch idle kind of thing which looks okay. So let's save changes. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. So now let's see if we're standing and we're pressing C. Um, it goes into crouch mode. And um, if we also look at our proxy, as you can see the thing gets smaller. And it goes back to its original size. So now, for example, if we were to uh, uh, draw a quick shape, so let's go to Tools and uh, Designer Tool, so Modeling, and I'm just going to create a box, a box. It's kind of interesting. They look a little different than in. Um, um, some of the other or in the uh, some of the other templates, I think with the other ones we're just dragging in a box and then editing it, not just creating it right there. 
Okay, so um, we have proxies on, so you can see that uh, you can see the proxy around it. Um, now, this is where I was uh, talking about uh, the sizing of um, of your um, collision capsule, because depending, and this is probably going to be also you know in, part of your level design, um, because right now, uh, so I, I think I moved that a little too high. So let's move it down a little bit. Uh, so, for example, this capsule is still a little big. And uh, as I was mentioning, I haven't played a, a lot with it to know what's, uh, um, what will be the, the proper sizing uh, or what will be the, the proper settings to, to get the, the sizing tweaked and not just, you know, in in more of in more detail than just the capsule height. Um, hopefully, I'll you know, do a little bit more research on that. It shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, okay, so um, let's move this up a little bit because right there it was it was not okay. So it's you know colliding with it, and now it goes under it. Um, so you know it can go under. And now it can, and um, um, of course this um, this stream would have taken quite a bit less, I would say, if uh, I wouldn't have stumbled uh, within the code that I was missing some includes. So um, hopefully you guys were able to to, uh, to catch on to that, and um, and I do believe that for this uh, this stream, uh, this is uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to accomplish um, so we have uh, we have the player physicalized uh, I mean it was already but it's a different physicalization when it goes into crouch mode and it's playing a different a, a brand, new, brand newly added you can see that animation um, we've created some tags to play those specific animations depending on if we're pressing down C um, you know, for crouch. So, um, yes, um, hoping this uh, will help you guys. And uh, for next week, or for next uh, stream, better to put it that way, uh, what I'm planning on is uh, one of the issues that, of course, you, you might run into is that um, you're you're going into, you know, uh, into game mode and you, you're about to crouch under something. Well, what happens if you release the C button? You'd expect for the player to, to still um, be in that crouch state and with the, the physical capsule be uh, the same size. Well, that at this point that doesn't really happen because let's take a look. So we're under the box. If we release C you'll see that this is what's going on and uh, all the the collision gets a little bit wonky so that's the next step uh, that, that's the next thing I want to tackle and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you that um, into the next stream but until then uh, that's gonna be it for me for this week you guys have uh, have a great week coming up and uh, we'll see you in the next stream. Hopefully it's going to be next Sunday if nothing uh, nothing else comes up. All right, everyone. Um, yeah, so <coughs> excuse me. I'll post an update on uh, on Facebook as far as the stream goes. And of course, you know, as always, I'll um, upload it to YouTube. All right, everyone. Thanks again, and uh, take care.